Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm kind of retreading a little bit. I was at work when I made the last video and I wanted to like talk about this a little more in depth. Um, not trying to milk the content or anything. I'm just like excited to talk about this. And um, I only, the last video was like two minutes. It was literally while I was at work. So um, I've had some time to kind of look over these pictures and I thought it would be interesting to go over some of it. So. Uh, we already know the artist is going to be the same artist that did uh, Promise Neverland, which they've worked with Koro Koro before in another series. Um, and then the writer, uh, I forgot the name of the manga or the, the anime, well, I guess it's both. Uh, the manga that they did, um, the writer, like the only notable thing that they've done is like a, a, about gambling in, in high school. So it's like a pretty serious... I think. Um, so I don't know, maybe that says something for the tone. Uh, the first image I saw when I made that video of the characters was this one on the right here. And I'm not going to lie, this one didn't instill a lot of confidence as far as like the art and the character design goes. Like this image of this guy right here, I'm not a I don't know. It's not doing a whole lot for me. This doesn't look bad, but this character or this this design over here I like quite a bit more. So I don't I don't know what the final design is. I don't know if it's this one. I don't know if it's this one because in this picture he's got like these raccoon stripes in his hair. Uh, shout out 2007. Um, and then this one is just solid. So he's got this long sort of bandana thing going on. I In this picture he looks a lot like Vault. But this one I, I wouldn't necessarily say that. His hair is tied back. But I wouldn't say he looks like Vault in this picture. He kind of does in this one. I don't know. But I do like the character design here. This looks like kind of urban, you know, sort of grungy. I kind of like it. Um, and then over here, I, I didn't uh, cover this image either. This is about the size comparison. So this is Beyblade X compared to um, uh, Valkyrie, uh, Storm Pegasus, and um, uh, Dragoon Storm. So it looks like the size is going to be about in line with these three. Or, yeah. So about the size of like a dual layer, um, which I think dual layers are a little bit bigger than Storm Pegasus. So I, I think this is to scale. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like we're going to be starting with about that size. So the other thing too is, um, of course, there there is metal now. So that's super cool. Um, I, I know all the Metal Fight fans are super excited for that. They look very dynamic. Um, this is, I believe, still a render. You've got some Photoshop stuff going on here. So all of this blue stuff right here, this is like, this is colored or rendered in. Um, all this red on the sides and stuff. This is, a. Uh, you can see a little bit of blue right here and here. That is, this is like Photoshop or something. So all of that blue and red and stuff, we don't know that that's actually going to be there. So the thing that... I'm interested to talk about is the prongs. So when I initially made a video, I thought maybe that these prongs moved and that's how it burst and the little like bit chip thing came out. But I, I, I don't know that that's going to be the case anymore. So I'm thinking, obviously we don't, we don't have pictures, right? We don't have a full system breakdown, which is unfortunate. So this is all speculation, but I, I think it's pretty safe to say that these prongs do notch into this sort of bit chip thing. You can see these notches. You can see where this lines up, where this notch would be on this side, on this side. Same with this one. There would be a notch right here, notch right here, notch right here. So it looks like this top layer tack ring, whatever they're going to call it, slots into that bit chip thing. The question is whether or not that bit chip is um, fixed to whatever the blade base or the driver or whatever is, if that's going to be integrated. So just like, like the, the top of the driver, if this is, um, permanently attached to, to that, which I'm hoping that that's not the case. So if you look at like these renders down here, you can see there's a lot of bulk down underneath on both of these, which looks more reminiscent of like a blade base from, Bakujin shoot or plastic gen significantly there's a lot more surface area there than there is on like uh like a track and tip for metal fight or a driver for burst so i'm hoping i don't i don't know for sure but i'm hoping 
This is like maybe a spin gear, this little center piece in here, this bit chip. I'm thinking maybe it could be something like a spin gear and that attaches into what would be a blade base and they're interchangeable, right? So we could potentially have spin direction changes. Um, but the reason why I hope that that's the case is because if this is gonna be the burst point, these bit chips, if this is what's gonna attach into that, Obviously, if these are metal, that's going to create a lot of tension, and we're going to potentially get wear. So I think that that's inevitable no matter what kind of burst system you create. Even with the slopes, eventually you're going to get wear. Um, stuff is going to end up wearing out. Friction, it's just going to happen. But if these are removable, then you can replace them. So you no longer have to worry about the layer necessarily wearing out because if this is metal, the prongs that attach to this bit chip on these three, I'm assuming what's underneath this is gonna be metal too and it's gonna slot into this. I could be wrong, could be plastic. It could be, you know, kind of like, um, I guess GT or something where like the metal, there's, you know, metal on top and then plastic underneath and then the tabs that slot into there are also plastic. I hope that's not the case. I hope that these are metal and then the centerpiece is gonna be interchangeable. So you'll be able to remove that and let's say maybe use your favorite one or whatever. Um, I, I, I don't know, but I, I, I'm really, I really wanna see how they separate, like how that works. Because looking at it straight on, it's hard to imagine how they're going to come apart. So even if they, you know, sit in and slot on like that, like how does that actually come apart? Unless this, the center piece, the way that it bursts is from the bottom and not the top. So maybe that separates from the blade base somehow. I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's all speculation, but I like speculating. So that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's personally, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that this part, the center part, the bit chip thing, I'm hoping that that is not fixed to the driver or whatever the blade base is, whatever the tip is, I'm hoping that that's not fixed. I'm hoping that that is removable and interchangeable. It doesn't look like it's fixed to the attack ring. It looks like it attaches to that centerpiece somehow. So um, yeah, I mean, the main question is whether or not that's plastic underneath, like underneath these three tabs here, whether that's plastic and that's gonna attach to this I don't know how it's going to work. I have no idea, I'm guessing. But I do like that the attack rings have retained like a sort of dynamic look to them. You know, Metal Fight, which, you know, everybody loves Metal Fight, but a lot of the shapes get kind of basic. And these look pretty dynamic. These look pretty interesting. And there's a couple other like drawings, renders of other ones as well. I don't want to steal Zanke's pictures, so I'm not going to use those. But um, he had one of, it's like Strike Falcon or Strike Eagle. It looks, it looks pretty cool. That one has a really interesting shape as well. But this red one's going to be uh, the main character's Beyblade. And this is uh, balance type, I believe. So we're going to have a main character that does not use attack type, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the launchers are three-pronged. So I guess they're gonna sit between these. So yeah, I'm guessing the, the launcher is gonna sit between these parts right here. Which is cool, like, the, the, I miss when, like, the, the launchers really felt firm on the Beyblade. Like, Metal Fight is kind of loose, burst, depending on which launcher you're using, also feels pretty loose. I didn't really care for the way the DB launchers work. They feel good, but I don't like the way they attach the Beyblade. So, like, I feel like they fall off really easy. So, I'm, it looks like the prongs look similar to Metal Fight, but we're getting three of them. So, hopefully they'll attach on there a little more solid. And then the launcher itself looks, or the grip itself looks very reminiscent of the Metal Fight grip. So maybe we're going to back to a more simplistic grip design. I don't know, the launcher, it definitely looks like it has some, uh, some like tabs and stuff on top so we can attach things to the actual launcher itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's about all I got guys. Uh, as far as like, you know, my, my ideas and theories, um, I do like the motif for these center things. They look 
like I said, like kind of urban, it's sort of like graffiti esque, you know. Um, I like them so far. I think the one that I'm not showing the uh, this like Strike Falcon or whatever it's called I, on the on the the I don't know what to call it, the bit chip or whatever on the Strike one. It actually it has Strike and Katakana on it. It's the only one that I've seen that has Japanese writing on it. But that one's also the only one that's a, an actual drawing. So. Um, I don't know that it's actually called Strike Falcon or whatever. That's just what I'm going with because it's got like a falcon or an eagle on the front of it and it's got like the katakana right here. So that one I think looks really cool. So this definitely looks like it's right spin. This one looks like it could be left spin. If you look at the shape of the design, it kind of looks like like the flow of the design would, would be counterclockwise and this one looks like it would be clockwise. So... Uh, not a hundred percent sure. They could both be right spin. I don't know. I mean, if you look at this image right here, like it looks like it could be um, right spin as well, just by how these sparks are coming off. But you know, I'm not sure. So maybe they're both right spin. Who knows? Um, anyway, I want to know what you guys think. I'm like, I'm super excited for this. I know a lot, I've seen, I'm already seeing a lot of negativity about it. People are saying they don't like the design. They're saying it looks basic. Um, it, people are mad that it's metal. People, people are mad that it bursts. People, people are mad about everything. Anything that they could be mad about, they're getting mad about. So let's try not to judge too much. You guys got to remember, this is pre-anime. So like Metal Fight, like, uh, Burst, like Bakugan shoot, we always have a set of releases prior to the anime, and that's what these are going to be. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like you know, like the the pre hybrid system or the single layer system, where this is what they use in the manga up until the anime. Once the anime launches, they're going to completely change these. They're going to be like upgraded versions or whatever for for that. So. Uh, we also, like, don't know if there's going to be additional stickers or anything like this. Like I said, these are look to be like they're still renders. I don't know that these are actual product pictures. I, I want to say that these are renders, like CAD or something. Uh, well, maybe not CAD. Does anybody use CAD anymore? Um, yeah, so that's, I think, that's all I got. Um, we'll have new information in, like, five days or something like that. So let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're excited. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you're hoping for. Um, I'm really hoping, my main thing is that I want these to be interchangeable and removable. That way we have like these collectible little discs. I'm, I, I like to collect things, you know, like these kind of look like yokai watch medals and I would be totally down to have like booster packs of just these things. Um, that way you can get like cool maybe like holographic ones or like rare ones I, I'm, I'm down for that i'm a sucker for that sort of thing so i'd be down for that i also if this is the like the burst point i would love for that to be removable just because it's not going to create wear on the attack ring or the driver blade base etc it would be cool if there was one single part that would that wears out that you can replace that doesn't make you have to buy an entire beyblade like you could just buy this by itself you know, as like a booster pack or whatever, you have extra of these that you can, you know, that are interchangeable. So that's what I'm hoping for. And I'm hoping, I mean, like I said, by this drawing, it looks like there's some bulk underneath these. I'm hoping for something kind of similar to blade base. Cause if, if, if the tip or the driver, I, I, whatever you want to call it, if that is not the burst point, if there's something else that bursts that attaches to that, that gives us a lot of options. That gives us a lot of options for gimmicks, for a uh, height variation, for um, like all of the things that most people think are important for Beyblade that maybe burst missed a little bit. Um, that would solve that problem. So really looking forward to seeing, um, seeing where it goes. Really interested to see the direction of the manga again like the the, the plot synopsis I, I don't even know it was a synopsis it was like a sentence but uh it said that it was team focused about pro league so um you know somebody mentioned in my discord server that it could be potentially like esports type thing right so where it like the, they take it very seriously and it's I would be kind of similar to Burst, but Burst is really lighthearted. It didn't take itself too seriously. This could take itself more seriously, and that could work, right? I was hoping for a more fantasy element because it would 
require them to be a little more serious about the plot or put a little more thought into the plot. But if they just do like a tournament thing and they give us a serious plot with like good character development, I'm fine with that. You know, like other series have done it. Um, Crush Gear did it. Um, Bakuten Shoot did it. That had the fantasy element, but it was like all the tournament arcs and stuff like were, were pretty serious. There was, you know, it, it was interesting to watch. Um, Metal Masters, I think, did it all right. You know, there's a ton of, like, anime and stuff that, that do that sort of thing. You know, like Mini 4 Wheel Drive, um, Metabots even, which is, you know, more lighthearted. But, like, the tournament arcs are interesting to watch. That's the main thing that I care about as far as the, the manga and the anime goes. I want it to be interesting. I want the characters to have development. Uh, I don't want it to feel like, you know, Power Rangers meets Beyblade, where it's the same thing every episode and... Like, uh, nothing really progresses. None of the characters really change that much. Um, at least that's how I felt about it. So, that's it. I'm done talking. <laughs> Let me know what you think.